Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. Ratliff. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Operating from the gun. Nash to the end zone, but it's incomplete. So they need two yards here on third down. Remember, they're already two of two on third down conversions on this drive. From the gun, Nash. Flushed out right. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. And that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up a first down and inside the five-yard line. could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. A loss of two there, second down. That's an excellent stop right there here in this tie game. They're doing their best to hold the fort and at least force a field goal attempt. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. They'll go option to the short side. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. They'll try to run this one in. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys have broken the tie. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. Alonzo looked to add the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. That drive a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll make it second down. He'll drop to throw. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. He'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. Offensively, they're going to have to figure this out before next week. Seven sacks in one game. Yeah, that's more than any quarterback should have to bear. And if this continues on, there will be another quarterback in the game because no one can stand up to this week after week. The Saints on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and ten. 
Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32, and obviously well short of the first down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like bats, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Forty-four yard punt return of nine. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. And right now, probably just one thing in his mind, it's getting back to the hot start because he's really faded. And ordinarily when that happens, the quarterback, as you know, is usually the leader of the squad. Now there's probably a, a silent camaraderie that comes around him saying, hey, guess what? We got you. Don't worry about it. Let's go, big fella, because they know more times than not, he tends to pick things up and they tend to play well. The throw over the middle taken in, and he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. Looking to throw. Nash over the middle complete. It's Richards. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, he's had success running the football in this one, and that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Hands it off out of the gun. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to bring up a third and about seven left. Back to throw. Nash, he'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And Lutz puts this one through. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make them score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, puts their backs clearly against the wall. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Saints offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Here's second and eight. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. 
The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. Remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. And they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. They'll set up to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Well, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off at about the 31. And he is going to get this one back to the 20-yard line. Well, I guess an interception at this point on fourth down is just as bad as an incomplete pass. Either way, the ball goes over to the other side. Yeah, it's a tough spot to be in this late in the game, and there's not a whole lot he can do there. And he winds up giving the ball away. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. Throwing on first down. Nash, his throw caught right around the six. And the Cowboys are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. Second and goal from the one. Looking to throw. Nash. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage, especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight, you just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. This has not been a fun game for this defense. They've definitely had their share of struggles, but they needed to make a play right there, and they finally get it done on third and goal. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This a chip shot, a 20-yarder. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a fourth and goal as they look to finish this one off. Touchdown, Cowboys! touchdown now on the year and the Cowboys add on to their lead and they are also closing in on a fifth straight victory but for them this train it just keeps rolling doesn't it well on their way to yet another victory yeah it's almost a runaway isn't it and you just wonder how anyone could stop this they got full momentum going full confidence going but it's not just their own confidence that's leading them it's the lack of confidence against their opponents now because they see them coming and think we've got no shot to beat this team Lutz good on the extra point. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. 
This take it in at the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The New Orleans offense set to take over. They're down big here late. I don't know, you just one last drive here for Pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Back to throw now on first down. And he will find his man on the outside. And the offense moving quickly to the line. He finds his man complete. That's Watts. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And oh, this is Peterson remaining down on the ground. And apparently in some pain. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Here's a second and seven. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. A great play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Saints have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. Extra point attempt to follow here. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So that one, an eight-play drive, it spans 75 yards. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. And they'll indeed take a knee. And they just took a timeout with two seconds to go. This one obviously decided. Not sure they needed to take it, but we'll take it with them. And they will take a knee here. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> but I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. 
So for Dallas, their strong September has carried over to October as they move to 5-0. and And they will hit the road next week to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, for the Saints, they drop below 500 to 2-3 and three with a loss. And they'll be at home for one next week as the Atlanta Falcons come to town. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.
when you see me. That jealousy, there's an ocean, and you either float or you sink. Moment of truth, credit check. You not a fool, BB King, I'm in love with the blues. Don't start me up, I got finishing moves. Look, uh, salute when you see me. Slid through all the commotion, it's breaking news, they got an ad on TV. Popping out all of my politics, and probably in a section where you not permitted. My honey's matching my Dodger fitted, playing all go, ain't no stopping in it. Look, yeah. salute when you see me, I bought her a CC, and that was her first discussion.